Hey guys, it's James Rowlett. Um, I did a video a little over a month ago showing how to isolate your reverse flow setup here. I uh, wanna just redo this one more time just for you guys. So I'm gonna put all the valves. So if you haven't isolated it, your stuff's gonna be aligned. Watch, it's gonna shoot water. That's gonna happen when you turn it on. Actually, one of my sprinkler heads even just popped on that up for a brief second. So basically, we are going to have a serious freeze this time. Uh, late sunday night wee hours of monday morning we are going to get down to 12 degrees so if you didn't do this last month please do this now um, basically what you got to do if the valve handle is in line this is your main supply of the water line coming up this is a reverse flow valve and then water travels across this and down and it goes to your sprinkler system i need you to go out turn your handle so that way it's 90 degrees so now it's in line blocking the flow of water so i've blocked it after you block that, I want you to go into your garage or wherever your control panel is for your sprinkler system, turn it on to the first station. It's going to now, the water's coming up, it's blocked here. It's going to bleed all the pressure down going through the rest of this. So now ideally water shouldn't be here. Another way that you can also do this is you can take a screwdriver and turn these two screws and let the water vent out that way as well. But once you do that, you can come back out here turn this valve that way you've isolated water from coming back up and around but it shouldn't have any water just because of head pressure and then after you do that take your handy dandy towel cover everything back up because it's actually wind chill um it's convection cooling i'm an engineering dork i know uh so you get you do get uh, thermal heating back from the ground to actually help to keep this this warm but it's actually the convection which is as a gas medium which is air blowing across the pipes it's going to take it down that's why you have the uh the wind chill factor so, so the towel blocks that so that way you're just working now on conduction temperatures so it should not freeze inside of that pipe but if you do bust it this thing when you open up this valve it's going to shoot out like a geyser up here this thing can bust off and if you fail to isolate it'll blow like a geyser you're going to be shooting water six to eight feet in the air if you do do that give me a call I can replace this. These things are called Febco typically. I would say over 80% of y'all are gonna have a Febco unit. It's a Febco 765. You can buy a plastic valve piece over at the Lowe's or the Home Depot. They're about 20 bucks. I think I might have some spare ones. So if you do blow this, let me know. I can come replace it for you. Um, I'd recommend you buy one though if you do it, if you can. Uh, don't rely on me to have one, but I hopefully I might have a, one or two spares in the garage. I'll come fix it, not a problem. So just give me a call if you have any other questions on this, 832-545-4587. I can help you isolate or I can help you fix it if you fail to isolate. And um, stay safe during the freeze and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks a lot, bye.